My name is Rosemary Faulkner and I've been working as a craft artist since uh, I graduated in 2017 from the ANU School of Art and Design. Um, I finished honours there in 2017 and I've been working um, here in the Canberra Glassworks um, since that time. So I mostly work with kiln formed glass. Um, I use a lot of decal imagery, uh, which is um, pretty much like a uh, temporary tattoo for glass. So you print the image and you, when you um, soak it in water, the image releases and then I can slide it onto the glass um, in that way. And then when I fire it, the image is um, fused to the glass and then I layer imagery, um, play around with um, surface finish, all that um, kind of amazing things you can achieve in the kiln um, to create these kiln formed Currently, um, most of my work is centred around um, the body and the human form, the um, textures, colours, um, the experience that we have of our of our body, and that kind of comes from, um, you know, being being in my own body. It's something I've always enjoyed: figurative art um, and explorations of the human figure. So that's where my work kind of centres. Um, over my practice, it's certainly become more um, abstract in the imagery and uh, I've done, yeah, using abstraction a lot more now as a, a method to explore the body as well. The camera glass works, we hire um, different pieces of equipment uh, and areas to work um, and so, some of us here are studio tenants as well and so we have an individual space that we can use for um, working and um, experimenting with our pieces as well. I try to um, come into the camera class so it's kind of at least four days a week um, and that's sort of part of being a self-employed artist is, is being quite disciplined for me in, in how I work through it. Um, but then I also have more intensive periods where I'm ramping up to an exhibition or you know, have an idea that I really want to delve into, a new skill that I really want to focus on. Um, so it kind of comes in waves a bit, but I, I do try to keep it semi-regular. What do I love about being an artist? Um, I love that I'm always learning, that it's not, um, you know, stagnant at any point. There's always something to learn, there's always a, a skill to, to master, um, always a new idea that you could explore in a different way. And particularly with glass, the medium is so diverse. Uh, there's not really one way to, um, you know, there's always options that you can explore. And so it's, it, it's always new, you'll always learn something new when you come into the studio. The challenges of being an artist um, are broad. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, you do need a, a certain um, amount of kind of self-discipline to keep it to keep it running. Um, you are, you know, if you're running your own business, you're the bookkeeper, you're the accountant, you're the front of house, you're all of those roles. Um, so, and they take time too. So it's not all just um, the creative exciting process of making there are all these other things on the outside as well um, and so it's it's a juggling act to work about how all these things fit together. Obviously uh, in the last lockdown it was you know really strict we had no access to um, the glassworks and the equipment so there was very little making so that takes a financial toll um, you know an emotional toll uh, and also uh, I find it easiest to make and create ideas when I'm relaxed and um, COVID certainly hasn't been a relaxing time so that you know affects kind of how you um, interact with with your ideas and processes as well. Um, I think from a positive note yeah it certainly um, reminded us that we have to be uh, able to adjust on the go um, and also reiterated that sense of community particularly here at the Glassworks. It's always very humbling I think as well I'm always learning and there's always opportunity to to expand as well